an ambassador, because I'm from Kosovo, everybody in Kosovo would like to hear why have you still not recognized Kosovo as a state, especially being the fact that I'm Muslim, 90% uh, of Kosovo is Muslim. Uh, most people watching us would feel, don't, didn't you sympathize with our cause for independence, self-determination, similar fight that you are having? Why didn't you recognize Kosovo? What about reverting the question? Why Kosovo did not recognize Palestine? Did you ask Kosovo to recognize Palestine? Why we asked everyone. Because you are a country much before we have. You could have started. You, are, uh, you exist as a country as much before Kosovo. Kosovo is not that old. It's very young. I will tell you uh, the answer to your questions. We as Palestinian people are fighting for our freedom, seeking our rights back to have an independent state of Palestine with East Jerusalem as its capital, based on United Nations resolutions. This was the hugest compromise we did in 1988 when we accepted the two-state solution, giving up more than 70% of our historical territory and accepting having a state on only 27% of historical Palestine. That was a huge compromise. And at that moment, the PLO the, uh, leadership decided to embrace the United Nations resolution and the international community, Western part of the world, proposal for peace. We accepted this, as I said, based on United Nations resolutions and what we were doing for decades and still doing, calling every and each country on this world to respect United Nations resolutions both from United Nations General Assembly and Security Council. How does this link up to Kosovo? You have the resolution 1244 with regard to the situation in Serbia, Kosovo. Yeah. I and mean, this and is in the meantime, do you know there's an international court uh, decision that Kosovo had the right to self-determination? International yeah, court we, decided. No, no. Serf after de that. Self-determination as our right for, for, for the people, I mean, we are seeking this for ourselves, we cannot denying for, uh, deny it for any, anyone else. But, I'm, again, we cannot go against a United Nations resolution. Why we are asking other, all the world to respect the United Nations resolution with regard to Palestine? This will be hypocrisy. And to be more frank with you, this, I was talking about the legal aspect, political aspect. Yes. I mean, I mean, do you see what your politicians in Kosovo are, are, are stating with regard to their relation to Israel and the U.S.? What are they stating? I mean, your president, your prime minister condemned the attack on 7th of October mm -hmm. and did not see any of the 3,700 Palestinian children assassinated, massacred in, in Gaza today. Not a single word. What a kind of message is this? People of Kosovo are sympathetic, I want to tell you. They've been, they've been support. You've seen support of people of Kosovo. This is why I explained victims. to you the reason why okay. this recognition. But can you ask your leadership why they are not recognizing we, Palestine? We, we will ask. When I have them on the program, I'm very tough to our leadership. I will ask. Trust me. Uh, I, I will ask. This but is at again, the same I will time, tell you, I, I will tell you this is why. This is because we are living, unfortunately, I mean, I was, I can, any normal person would wait from leadership of Kosovo who were fighting for their self-determination to sympathize, to understand something like where we can draw similarity. We are living, unfortunately, in a world where you can find less and less principled politicians. And they're all going after very short vision interest. And it's not working. I mean, you are living in the, in the region and you, you are seeing when big powers, big powers interest is shifting, countries, people in the region will have to abide. And you are witnessing it now, even in Kosovo with regard to the latest proposal of agreement with Serbia.